Bonjour lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here guys, welcome and please consider subscribing before leaving. Thank you guys so much in advance for watching this video. Don't forget to hit like and your comments are always welcome. In today's video, as you can see from the title down below, I'll be discussing a few culture shocks about Canada. So guys, some of these things you will think that they are not too shocking, but especially for persons who have never traveled before, you can look out for these things when you come to Canada. So the first thing is that the license plate on the vehicles, they are at the back. So that was a little bit shocking for us because when we went to buy the license plate for the vehicle, we were like, why are we getting just one? You know, in Jamaica, you get two, one at the front, one at the back. So that was a little bit shocking for us. The next thing is people will tell on you, even if they're your friends. So you may have this person who you cling toward in the workplace. And the moment that you, you know, did something wrong, you're thinking that, okay, since I've always been in the company of this person, the person is not going to tell on me. Don't be fooled. They are going to tell on you and they are going to come and smile with you as if everything is okay. Because I mean, I guess they're thinking that the fact that they don't put up with certain things, they can just tell and it is okay. You know, like back in Jamaica, if you tell on somebody, then your, your demeanor will change or you are scared that, you know, this will cause some form of rift between both of you here somebody tells on you and they will just talk to you like it is normal the next thing is that they are not secretive so you find that even though they don't really talk to people like the moment you find somebody who is willing to talk they will tell you their life story and even for example in the workplace you know sometimes in Jamaica you and a person may be working even the same amount of money or they may be working a little bit more than you but you just don't discuss how much you make you know it's kind of like secret but here they discuss everything they discuss the amount of money that they make they discuss their family life they discuss everything they are not secretive they are not scared to reveal anything to you next thing guys a lot of persons may find this shocking women do haircuts here and there are men who do nails so a lot of persons kind will probably find it weird if you're if you come from Jamaica because there you have mainly men doing haircuts you know barbers over here you might find it a little bit shocking that it's just the norm for men to do nail services and the norm for women to do here the next thing guys do not try to bribe the police you know like back home if the police stops you unfortunately you can say well here's another thing and they will let you go i don't think it's like that here they do not take money from you they do not want gifts if you broke the law then they are gonna enforce it so don't try to pay your way out of a situation you might even make it worse don't try it here it's a big offense to the police and the next thing is that they do not give blight here what we mean you have to wait your turn especially when driving so if you want to turn out of say a plaza or let's say you want to switch lanes you have to wait your turn if you're in the wrong lane you may have to miss your turn and turn at the next exit before you can come off because nobody's gonna stop in the middle of the road to let you pass the next point you guys is harassment they take it seriously here probably that is why it is so hard to find a partner here because you know in Jamaica the men be like hey sexy look good girl crab up buddy whatever it is I don't know what they say but over here men will literally walk past you like a man will literally like you and do not say anything to you it's crazy it's crazy like you can you can be naked and you walk past them and chances are they will not say anything to you you know so you can feel it, it makes you feel a little bit at ease but if you are used to it you know like from a country like Jamaica where men are always hollering at women when you come here you may feel like you are not that attractive it is possible because they really don't call to you like 
I mean, when I dress up, I've seen a few times where they try to make moves, but that's just the younger generation, you know, like very young, probably younger than me. But nine, I would say 95% of the time they be minding their business. If they do have something to say, they say, oh, you're beautiful, and then they are gone. So I guess to find relationship like you know this person and you know this person they try to set up the person but harassment is a big thing here so if you come here don't come here with a hey, beautiful mentality or sweet girl or you know sometimes i mean sometimes you have people who are polite about these things you know just it's just how you address people so you might see a, a woman that is very beautiful and you're like hello beautiful um i guess how you say it would also make a difference but try to avoid it because some of these women when they're not into you they can report you and you can lose your job or you can um, get into trouble so ju just avoid it if that's how you address women just try to lessen it use their names as much as possible piercing and tattoo are a big thing here so you know in Jamaica if you have piercing and tattoos you have to cover yourself especially if you work for the government or if you work in the public sector but over here you have nurses who are laced with tattoos full of piercings and it's just it's it's okay nobody cares you know so it's just a bit shocking um even teachers they have their piercings um they can wear their hair colors and stuff like that but you know in jamaica the school that i used to work it was okay but some schools you have to take out your piercing especially if they're visible like i used to work at a call center and i could not have these these three earrings like what nobody was even seeing me so it's crazy that at a call center back in jamaica you couldn't wear that but over here as a teacher as a nurse as a doctor you can wear multiple piercings. the next one is that bills are due on the first of the month so when we just got here i think they're trying to kind of like some landlords in jamaica they're trying to make it a thing but it's not really a thing in jamaica but over here when we just got here we didn't know it was a thing and we came i think by the time we were looking somewhere to rent it was like say the 26th or the 27th of the month and the person was like well if you rent the place now you are gonna have to pay I think they say prorated or something like that fees or you have to pay daily fees leading up because the rent is due the first of the month so you have to try to rent the place the first of the month you know what? I don't know if I'm explaining it properly but the rent is due, bills are due, most of your bills are due on the first of the month. And if you want to rent somewhere, some places will allow you like two to three days before the first of the month to get the place. But like if it's the middle of the month, they may want to charge you a full month's rent or as they say prorated or prorate or something like that where they charge you daily. Look out for those things. Next point you guys is that homelessness and depression are a big thing you know you are looking you're probably thinking that oh it's a first world country so everybody is set or everybody you know no hope you have a lot of homeless people and never seen depression this widespread until I got here like I know that depression is a thing and I know it's real but I've never really seen it so much until I got here you may be talking to somebody every day and you know you don't know that the person is depressed like real depression and medication for depression it's just crazy how many people are depressed here i don't know if it's the weather i don't i don't know but you have lots of people who are depressed here and no matter how homeless you see these people they have their bank accounts they could be sitting on the roadside when you look they're going into the bank that gets me every time people might know this but like i said i am still highlighting stuff to people who may have never traveled before at the gas stations you don't have pump attendants so you have to learn how to pump your own gas you know in jamaica there's somebody at the pump or somebody at the supermarket to pack the bags for you 
here you pack your bags yourself at the supermarket and you pump your own gas so you have to learn how to do that and the next point is everybody stays in so you know in Jamaica you may roaming the street or you may going about your business and then you see a lot of people on the road here it's not a lot of people on the road and you know sometimes like you will see people sitting on their veranda or people sitting on their steps or people outside here not many people do that you don't you rarely see even during summertime you rarely see people sitting at their their gate or at their doors or on the outside it's very rare so people stay inside another one is like this is an exaggeration but you know everybody drives like everybody drives um and I really don't get it because even some of the jobs when you apply to them they specify that you need to have a driver's license and I'm like I'm not even doing uber service why do I need driver's license I'm not doing delivery I'm not doing anything driving related I guess they want you to be punctual they want you to get to work early so I have lost a lot of job opportunities because I do not drive and I think it is crazy because even some of the jobs that require um, a license require that you drive these are some of them are minimum wage jobs how am I gonna buy a car if I'm not being paid properly like I always look into it like if I'm not making the money that I'm making at these jobs is just enough to pay my rent my bills and buy food how am I gonna afford a car but maybe i'm ignorant maybe people who still have minimum wage jobs still have cars and i just don't know how they do it but it's a big thing here some of the jobs do put as requirement that you need to have a car it's crazy and finally everything is insured your rent you have to pay insurance for your different from your rent you know renters insurance you insure you pay insurance for your car if you have a house you pay insurance for your house if you take out a phone any gadget any device they ask you if you want insurance like insurance is such a big thing here I mean there are benefits but you're just not used to the whole insurance thing like that especially if you are from Jamaica we're not so big on insurance I mean if you're renting somewhere insurance mm. So that was kind of shocking for me really that that was one of the shocking things here in Canada for me so guys those are a few things that shocked me about I would say first world because I've experienced most of them before coming to Canada but if you get to Canada you can look out for a few of those and if you have your culture shocks don't be scared to post them in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to hit like Please remember to subscribe if you are new. Bye.